Uh -huh. Now a headline that's about to come. The answer to the question we've all been asking, who will be Times Person of the Year? Edward Felsenthal, Times Editor-in-Chief, is here to reveal the pick. Good morning, Edward. Good morning. All right, we kept the secret. You uh -huh. kept the secret. Was this, just real quickly, was this a hard decision or an easy decision this year? Well, you know, this is the 91st year we've named a Person of the Year. Mm -hmm. It's always hard. But I think it was especially hard this year a year of so much disruption in the United States and around the world. We're going to count down. We're going to keep the anticipation going. Number three on your list, the president of China. Xi Jinping. Yeah. He has consolidated power in his mm -hmm. own country to a degree not seen in decades. Mm -hmm. And even more importantly, he's made very clear that he intends for China to lead the world mm -hmm. and step into the breach as the U.S. retrenches. Mm -hmm. The runner-up, President Donald Trump. First of all, your rationale, and second of all, he had tweeted that Time wanted him to be the person of the year, and he rejected you. Want to set the record straight on that? Well, he's number two on our list because he, he has changed the very nature of the presidency and, and the way the White House functions. He's on the verge of his first major legislative victory. He's reshaping the judiciary and aggressively rolling back regulations. Um, the, the tweet, as we said, wasn't, wasn't correct. Um, uh, in fact, we, we did the photo shoot for the reveal we were about to do five days before the tweet. We didn't say probably, but you know how it goes. I think it's time for the big reveal, so I'm going to let you do the honors. Who is Time's Person of the Year? The 2017 Person of the Year is the Silence Breakers, the voices that launched a movement. This is the fastest moving social change we've seen in, in, in decades, and it began with individual acts of courage by hundreds of women and some men too who came forward to tell their own stories of sexual harassment and assault. We, we see celebrities on your cover but most importantly perhaps we see someone whose face is obscured. Yeah. This is the the woman whose name we don't know, the woman who came forward bravely or is thinking about doing so. One of the important things we explore in, in our coverage around the issue is uh, of course, the parade of headlines is, is nonstop and, and incredible to see, but we, we look at the degree to which this is really just the beginning and, and how far will it go, how deep into the country, mm -hmm. how long lasting. The image you see uh, partially on the cover is mm -hmm. of a, a woman we talked to, a hospital worker in the middle of the country who uh, doesn't feel like, she shared her story with us and some others, but doesn't feel that she can come forward without threatening mm -hmm. her livelihood. Edward, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.